Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how I made a wall mounted rack for A6 cards that can hang from a nail or screw. The SketchUp cut sheets are available to download from my website. My girlfriend has a painting exhibition and she needed one of these for her promo cards. You can buy them off eBay for three or four pounds, but she needed the rack quicker than they can deliver one. An A4 sheet of acrylic only costs three pounds and I can design a rack really fast, so I decided to help her. It's also a good excuse to try out making laser cut tooth joints on the SketchUp to G-Code exporter plugin I wrote recently. I never tried tooth joints before, I've always used bolts etc to hold my laser cut acrylic together, partly because of software I've used before wasn't accurate enough to make a good tooth joint. Once the acrylic is cut I'll use dichloromethane solvent to weld the teeth together. Originally I planned to make it out of clear acrylic but I couldn't get hold of any on time, but because it's clear, it's easier to visualise how the joints fit together on this model. The tooth joints look complex, but I used guides to help me draw them, and that didn't take too long. Each side of the box is a separate component, so my software will know which faces to flatten into a cut sheet. Because I'll have to make it out of black acrylic, I lowered the front of the box so the front of the cards would be visible. I'm going to go to Create Cut Sheet and just select three millimeters in my uh, exporting plugin and that's going to create a new SketchUp file with all those face components flattened out next to each other. I've opened that new file up and now I'm deleting the unwanted faces the plugin created. I noticed that it's only created one side for the box so I'm just going to copy the one that it did make and now I'm arranging the pieces so that I use as little acrylic as possible. This is the final arrangement. One one file with the front and sides of the box in and the bottom and another just with the back in because I didn't quite know what the best way to fit those together on a sheet was. I created G-code from those using my plugin and uh, now I'm just fitting the uh, sheets of acrylic into the cutter getting it roughly straight uh, relative to those cutting axes. I'm now going to fire a couple of test spots with the laser to make sure the laser head is roughly at the uh, top left corner of the acrylic sheet. So that's going to be the origin uh, as far as the G-code is concerned. So that looks about right now. I'm going to send the G-code to the cutter using a program called Pronderface and start the cut. I'm doing it rather slowly to get uh, good edges but that's what it looks like uh, in four times speed. So now the cut's finished, that took a while. And I was quite pleased to see that all the pieces fit together straight out of the cutter. Just getting the sheet lined up again with the laser now not at the top left but at the top left of the place that I want to start cutting. That's where the origin is in the SketchUp file. Just firing a test spot moving the laser head a little bit now it's as close to the other cuts as I like to get it and there's the back piece with a nice little sort of keyhole shaped place for the screw to fit and I'm just going to try to fit it all together now, I haven't done any work on this at all, apart from just getting it laser cut, um, and it fits together pretty well. However, something that I didn't plan for, uh, remember this is the first time I've tried tooth joints on this laser cutter, um, is that because the laser beam is cutting outside the line on all the shapes, the inside of those teeth are curved so that the when you try to put a flat edge of acrylic against them, they won't go all the way in. And so you get the gap that you saw in that last clip. Now I'm going to remove all the protective film and get ready to glue the pieces together, or rather weld them using dichloromethane.
Before gluing, I added some rubber bands to hold the whole thing together while it's welding. That's the dichloromethane. I'm going to use a brush to apply it to the joints. If you load a brush up with the fluid, it's almost like water consistency. Um, and then touch it onto each of the joints, the surface tension will actually draw the, uh, the solvent into the joints. Uh, this is my first time trying this as well, so I, it took me a while to work out the neatest way to do it. But eventually I realised that actually touching the dichloromethane onto the, the cut edge of each of those joints was the best way to get it in, because if anything, it would actually neaten up the cut edge by melting it a bit. The clothes pegs to apply a little bit more force to those thinner top edges of the front, just because there seemed to be quite a large gap there in the joint. What I noticed as I was welding and pushing the joints together is because the solvent softens the acrylic, those curved edges on the inside of each of the teeth actually softened up so that the joint could be pushed together properly. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than I had feared when I saw it come out of the laser cutter. So there's the finished box, and quite a nice fit with those cards. The SketchUp files are available to download from my website. If you want to know more about how I created those G-code files from SketchUp, or anything about laser cutting in general, sending G-code to a Chinese laser cutter, I have videos about all of those things on my channel. Uh, please do uh, like the video, subscribe if you want to see updates, uh, more stuff that I'm doing around laser cutting, CNC machining, hopefully a bit of 3D printing etc in the future. Uh, thanks and goodbye.